You are now tuned in to Atlanta's hottest radio show. Our stories from our studio to your ears. It's the Beyond Swanky Podcast. With your host, Kenny Lucas. On Swanky 93.3 Radio Station. The Heat 94.6 Radio Station. Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back in the studio, Swanky Studios, of course, for another exciting podcast radio show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host with the most, KLP Kennedy Lucas. Yes, I am back. I'm sorry. I've been thinking about this podcast all week long, god damn it. Of course, we've got T in here. He's here. Addison and Arthur, they're here. Monica, she's here. That's my boo. That's my baby. James Myers, our writer and uh, chief information officer, he's here. Everybody is here uh, for another exciting podcast today. Yes, I have been gone for a week. I haven't been doing podcasting and you know it's 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 my fault y'all this this weather this weather got to me it did the weather got to me i got a little sick uh if, if you if i cough on this show well hopefully i don't but if, if you hear me sniffling a little bit i'm still you know under the weather um but damn it i'm gonna give you guys another exciting podcast i gotta say i'm about 90 percent better right so i'm not tremendously sick let's say the last two days i was just dog sick right I thank gracious God every day since I've been sick for the last four days. I thank God it wasn't COVID um, because, you know, I woke up feeling not too good. Monica looked at me saying, baby, you all right? And I said, I ain't feeling too good. But thank God it was not COVID. It was never COVID as my AC kicks on in the, in the studio today. Uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't COVID. Thank God, because I remember. Gosh, I remember this t- around this time last year. Well, it was New Year's around this time last year. I caught the vid. I caught Miss Rona, and you know I caught it. And that was that was sickness. I couldn't move. And thank God that we shut down because it was New Year's Eve. We shut down. We weren't doing any operations because we, you know, we like to take breaks. Thank God it took it happened on a break, right? Um, where we shut down, and I was in the bed. I was watching a lot of Netflix shows and movies. I was drinking nothing but tea and orange juice and, and soup, right? Yeah, I'm reading Monty. You remember that time this time, New Year's time last year. So I'm thankful that it wasn't Miss Rona that came that came back on me this time around. It's just the weather. So I say to a lot of people, you know, PSA to my, my colleagues, my cast and crew that's here in the studio, to everybody out there to this morning, you know, uh, please stay, stay, stay safe, guys. That's stay safe. Don't go out go outside i mean go outside and enjoy the 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 christmas time but be very very careful please wrap up gentlemen please wrap up you know what i mean i didn't mean to say i meant to say that like that to be funny but no wrap up i mean wear a coat is cold it's getting cold and then hot and then cold and hot is getting to people this weather is legitimately is getting to people it got to me i was coughing i was congested and I'm just just like 10% congested today. You know, I haven't been coughing so much today. I've got my my pills in here in the studio as well as we take. Uh, uh, I took some NyQuil, so severe NyQuil, and then I'm taking DayQuil. I'm drinking a lot of tea, a lot of hot chocolate, a lot of tea, uh, green tea, lemon zinger tea. You know, I'm, I'm doing that kind of stuff right now. I have some tea right here. Ooh, it's a little hot still. Um, but yeah, if you feel like you're getting sick, guys, tea is the way to go. It's healing. And unfortunately there's medicine that you can take, but unfortunately you do have to just let this, um, let this, this, this little fever run its course. Now I, I, like I say, I I thank God it wasn't Ms. Rona coming back up on me. I'm thinking God it wasn't the flu, right? Because flu season is in right now. And a lot of people, they getting sick, right? These po po people out here, we we getting sick. Um, but how y'all been? Y'all good? We've been good, y'all. We've been besides me being sick, we've been doing a lot of production. 
Um, of course, I've stayed, had my mask on on sets and in the animated studios. I had my mask on and I kind of I didn't quarantine because it wasn't co- it wasn't COVID, but it was just like, hey, don't don't be too close to me. So, um, yeah, we've been we've been in the studio. Yo. We, we working on some things, right? We working on a lot of things, a lot of a lot of films getting prepared for next year. Guys, if you haven't seen the current films of ours from Kennedy Lucas Films and KLP Entertainment, Raw Pictures, and Horizon Pictures, of course, Street Style, New York Culture is now available on New uh, on New York, available on Amazon Prime and Tubi TV, and also Hardline Second Term, y'all. Both movies available for uh, Prime Video and Tubi TV. Um, I'm excited because, you know, we announced it. Um, yes, we are filming part two of Street Style. It's going to be called Street Style Homecoming. Y'all, I got so excited to announce that because it was the day we booked our, our plane ticket. It was the day that, you know, I was getting my window fixed. Yeah, I, I had a lot of I had a lot of crap going on, y'all, in the last couple of days. So um, <clears throat> me being sick in this weather, had to get my window fixed. So I went to Safe Life, Safe Life Repair, Safe Life Replace not a sponsor let me tell you that that experience right because really this podcast this is kind of like hey i'm back type of episode is i ain't really got an agenda for this podcast but i miss y'all i miss being in the studio so i went to safe life good pricing right good pricing when it comes to fixing the window uh i had a little uh uh-oh with my vehicle i ain't gonna go into details with that but you know everybody's seen it um but you know thank god it wasn't anything worse but i was being hasty right so it's all my fault and as i was being hasty uh, my, my window broke and of course i had to go to safe life to get it repaired let me get some tea in oh man that's good um so i had to get my window fixed i was at safe light getting my thing get my window repaired um it's good to have insurance right without getting into so much detail y'all you know i went there went to safe life Gave my insurance card, got some some kickback. Of course, I still had to pay some money to get the window fixed, but it wasn't as expensive because I had some great car insurance. So, um, got that done. Um, and then this is not a bad review on Safe Life because their pricing was pretty good. Um, I never, when it comes to car repairs, plan on not doing. Well, you no one no one really likes to do any kind of car repair, and you know I, I hate doing car repairs. I really do. Um, because it's so time consuming, right? It's a, it's a lot of time consuming that you're sitting and waiting for the technicians, the mechanics, the engineers to fix your vehicle, you know? So I went to safe life and I was thinking that this would be a fast kind of process. Um, but it wasn't, it was a couple of hours I was waiting and cause it, it turns out it was more damaged than, than what, it, when I thought it was. So I thought I was going to be late coming into the office right that one day and you know luckily i made it to the office on time because you guys know me I, I do like to come to my office on time when i say i'm going to be somewhere i like to be on time um but thank god that was the, the case of that so that was that wrap up of, of that morning getting that that repaired and i was getting a little hasty and i, I felt bad for the safe life uh safe life girl uh reception that worked in there because she was extremely cute um and i showed my ass right i hate it when i go to a place right to where i'm i'm showing my ass right and i hate to do that but sometimes you kind of have to do that now i'm not saying on the podcast that it's good to go out and show your ass to people to kiss and then you 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 act like a karen or john out there that's not i'm always not advocating don't act like a karen out there y'all but i had to because i was going to be late going into my office and being late to start my day so i just wanted to say i said to the girl i said hey baby um what's going on right what what's going on is is, is they fixing my my window or not because it it seems like it's taking a very very long time for that god comes out and said yeah it looks like there was more damage uh than than we anticipated they got it fixed um and I said, you know, I appreciate it. You know, I'm just being hasty because it's my fault. I, I scheduled an appointment on the day that I'm busy, right? To, to the more of the story, guys, never 
make an appointment whether it's a car appointment a dental appointment a meeting whatever it is you need done appointment wise never make that appointment on a day that you're busy when you have other things you got to do right because that throws your whole day off it does um but as i was getting there getting to my office we, we booked our plane ticket so yes in february we're going to be traveling back up there to new york i cannot wait get some tea in can't wait i'm ecstatic i cannot wait for new york of course street style homecoming let me tell you this documentary guys is going to be completely different from the first one um, we're doing a lot of things we didn't do in the first one in the second one and we're going a little bit earlier um last time we went around march last this past year and now next year february is this coming february we're going a little bit earlier than usual so i'm excited i'm very very excited for that so pumped we've got everything pretty much booked and ready to go uh it's going to be me and my brother uh, this time around and it's going to be very very fun um it's it's, it's going to be exciting it's going to be an exciting trip but it's got we're, we're going with a fear a, a, a focus because if you guys don't know the first one my brother little brother shout out to him ryan patterson is the star of the first one based off the credits and and the uh if you go to prom you'll see starring ryan patterson on there but he's our creative director for this one he said hey can i have creative control i said yes you are the creative director for this the second one right because the first one did well on prime we need to keep that stigma going brother right so we're excited we we're we're excited we're working hard now we're saving up some cash flow this is going to be a trip for the ages and we're going for longer periods right last year we were there for about i want to say we were there about four days three nights we're going there for about five days four nights so it's a little bit longer this time around i'm excited i'm super excited to bring another documentary along with all the other films that we've got in the works pipeline right now of course we started planning for another film we've got so much films coming out next year guys so just just stay tuned that's all i can say is stay tuned for that stay tuned because we're going to take some take a quick commercial break because when we come back y'all we got to talk about them game awards i know I'm, I'm a little late to the game but we're going to talk about them game awards coming up next stay tuned Hold on, I ain't ready. Dang, T. You trying to get us in there. No, nah, T's shout out to Tyrus Lester, man. He's our producer for the podcast. I say that because we were sipping, we're galloping some tea, some hot tea. You guys know that if you missed the intro of this podcast, you know where where we've been for the last couple of days. I've been under the weather. So if I sound a little nasally, just a little bit, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, but I missed y'all. I need to come back with another pod. Like I say, we got T in the building. Monica's here. Addison's here. Arthur is here. James in the back. I see you, James. You're here. We got to talk about the Game Awards, guys. Now, I know I'm a little late to this game. I get it. The Game Awards were last Thursday, and it is, you know, Tuesday morning while we're talking about it. It's a little late to the game. I know, because I've been sick. And I, I'm mad that I've been sick because that day i was in the office i was really sick that day in the office watching the game awards and i said damn i want to do a podcast but i just i'm so sick to even pick up a microphone and talk that day i couldn't get into it fast forward later it's tuesday the game awards was like five days ago and now i'm just now talking about it i'm so upset about that um but game awards you know game awards was very very exciting it was god of war night god of war won a lot of awards i don't necessarily agree and maybe I, i'm just different i'm just a, a god of war ragnarok fanboy right because god of war should have won game of the year now of course elden ring did win game of the year i was pissed when i saw that now i i am glad that you know elden ring got their flowers because a lot of people enjoyed elden ring right monica i bought the game i have it in my catalog elden ring's a little bit too hard for me and i hate that i spent the full 50 dollars on it because not saying it's a terrible game it's a fantastic game but i played it i died so many times and i kind of got frustrated because i died so many times and 
I, I, I want to revisit Elden Ring. I really do. I really wish that the developers made it to where there's an easy mode for us dummies, right? Because a lot of, and I, I'm, I'm very smart, by the way, but a lot of people love from software. A lot of people play Demon Souls and, and the Souls games. I've never played a Demon Souls game right before i've never played a souls games before my first souls game from from software was elden ring so i kind of just jumped into it not knowing what i was getting into i got into it and i i love the style of it i just died so many times because it's just that damn hard and i kind of didn't like as i died so many times i'm like okay well i'm not really feeling this because i'm dying so many times it's kind of boring to me so that's why i feel the way i feel and i'm like when elden ring won game of the year i'm like eh, okay because in god of war ragnarok you best believe i've died but i beat the, and i haven't beat the game yet i know i'm late i, I have not say but at least i can beat the bosses and move on right Christopher Judge goes up on stage. He wants the best performance. Well deserved from Christopher Judge. He did give a long speech. A very, very, very long speech. Um, and that was like kind of the joke of the night, how long the speech was. Um, but honestly, he deserves his flowers. Now, I'll be honest, I voted for Sonny Sojit, the 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 man that plays the Traries. That's who I voted for because I remember seeing Sony Sujit's first video when he was a kid playing Atreus. Uh, in the first God of War, he was timid, he was shy, he didn't he he got in his head, right? But seeing his development in Ragnarok and how passionate he was because he got older, he hit puberty, he got a little bit older, right? And the the dialogue that he does it as Atreus in God of War Ragnarok, that's why I voted for the young buck, right? But I am glad Christopher Judge won because he's been busy too with God of War and he was the voice of Black Panther with the Black Panther Marvel's Avengers for Christopher Dy uh, Crystal Dynamics, that expansion. Christopher Judge did some voice work for Black for T'Challa. So he's been busy. He's been very, very busy. Um, but it's good to see that that the winnings for there. Um, without going into too many details in t today's show, a God of War won a lot of awards, whether it's Accessibility Award, um, Narrative Award, um, they won a lot. Of course, it was a showcase of games. Um, we didn't quite get um, a lot, so I sip on this tea. I love tea, y'all. I really do. Uh, we didn't get a lot. Um, we we got announcements, but we kind of got announcements that we already knew about, right? Or so what I've seen. Um, I was kind of hoping, and this was a prediction because we did a prediction video on KLB Double Take, but I was kind of hoping we would get something, an announcement that we just never seen before, right? Um, but we didn't get that. And I was kind of bummed about that. I thought we were going to get some trailers of like an update of the wolverine game or an update of the spider-man 2 game right especially with spider-man 2 so now that led to believe to a lot of people that okay is this game delayed right i saw another youtube channel another youtube video where they did an analysis of why we didn't see anything from insomniac games when it comes to spider-man 2 so now that questions us like okay is it delayed or are they waiting for that next Spider-Man movie across the um, the Spider-Verse? Are they doing promotional pieces for that? Right? There's a lot of things that go on there. We did get an announcement for um, Final Fantasy, which is great. Uh, I want to say it was June 23rd, Final Fantasy 14. I want to say that we're going to be seeing that. So that that's pretty good. Um, June 6th. And we don't have our notes because we're, we're this is off script podcast today. But... I want to say June 6th, Street Fighter 6, which is great because I will be picking that game up because I'm a huge Street Fighter fan and I cannot wait to see what they change with the Street Fighter um, scenario. We did see more behind the scenes of Tekken 8, which is great, um, but that was pretty much it, right? We didn't see an update for Starfield. We I, we rarely saw anything from Xbox. Like they saw, they gave us like a, this little promotional ad is what I saw, but we really didn't see anything from them. 
um the game of the year orchestra was pretty good as always every year they do really really well when it comes to that kind of stuff um Hazier, who plant who performed with bear mccurry also a uh, game award winner for best comp- con- best music bear mccurry god of war ragnarok they performed blood upon the snow which was great i was kind of hoping they would get more more epic with the performance right they were just kind of at a standstill and he was just kind of singing and then there was a little bit of fake snow coming down that was great they had the book the back vocals they were singing that was great but i was kind of i don't know i was expecting a little bit more um when it comes down to it uh there was this kid when when elden ring won the game of the year there was just some kid and there's been speculations it's speculative because i don't know what the kid said but he hopped on stage at the last few minutes before being escorted out of the building he said i'd like to dedicate this game to bill clinton i don't know if y'all seen that but that was wild to me i'd never thought that that would happen but it does happen where people just randomly hop on stage and they want that last 15 minutes of fame i don't know he got escorted out of the building he didn't look like he was part of that team we don't know we did see hideo uh, kojima announced death stranding 2 which is great i haven't played the first one so maybe i need to jump on that bandwagon because a lot of people enjoy those type of games um stray wins best uh independent which is great i voted for stray stray was nominated for game of the year too that that's to me that's a huge milestone if your game's been nominated for game of the year um but I knew they were they're not I knew they were gonna get game of the year but best independent best indie game breakout indie game yes straight I played straight I beat straight it was great it was fantastic it was very very unique it was very very different um let's see oh, man this tea this tea is really good um who else did we see at the we saw Daniel Craig no he got a little uh little uh present there daniel craig al pacino of course when christopher judge won al pacino presented that award uh animal from sesame street i don't know what they were thinking with that but i guess hey that's marketing and hey they paid money for that and that's the sponsor so you know hey i get it um but that was pretty much it right um like I say, Game of the Game Awards was pretty good. I watched the entire thing. It was great. Live from the office. It was I enjoyed it. I would have liked to see more of the announcements. Um we just didn't get that many announcements, right? And you know, who knows? You know, we're still early. Uh 2023 is going to be an epic year for gaming. I can't wait until this year comes so that way there's, you know, there's games that's coming out and they're getting released right because we still got hogwarts legacies coming out final fantasies coming uh street fighter 6 tekken 8 spider-man 2 wolverine starfield just to name a few a lot of good games are coming out um uh horizon forbidden west has this new expansion which is great they're they're really poking out the vr2 I won't be getting the VR2 because it's $600 for the VR2. I'm straight with just having the PlayStation 5 console in my house. I'm good with that. We're good. Um, but yeah, that was the Game Awards. That was all in a nutshell. That, that was the Game Awards. It, it was it was, it was was interesting. It could have been better, right? A lot of people didn't like it. It could have been better, but it was a good show. It For me, being a God of War fan, it was a good show to me. Like, Because God of War won, I want to say, about six awards. So it was a great show to me. Um, the player's choice Sonic Frontiers was nominated so I would have voted and this was kind of a late poll but and I feel like they were just throwing something in there but Sonic Frontiers probably would have should have won player's choice right because honestly a lot of people shitting on Sonic Frontiers I have the game I like the game now I haven't played it because I've been sick and we've been on been in sets and stuff but I genuinely enjoy as I spill tea on my computer I genuinely enjoy Sonic Frontiers. It is it's a very interesting game to play. So I recommend people picking that game up. Even if that game comes out uh, as a discount as we get closer to Christmas time. Yes, it's going to be fantastic. So, you know, I, I enjoy Sonic Frontiers. I, I enjoyed it. But anyway, that's the game of the year wrapped up in a nutshell. I enjoyed the show. Uh, you know, it was a great show to me and i enjoyed it so stay tuned we're gonna play some more music but coming up next we've got some more juicy topics to talk about 
we're not on a script on this podcast but stay tuned we'll be right back and we're back ladies and gentlemen beyond the swanky podcast because and, and and we joke because i don't think i announced the name of this show of course it's beyond swanky podcast so we're, we're bringing that show out more of course normally we'll have coco in the studio but uh and we we're gonna have him come back into the studio but we've been busy right coco's been busy we all been busy because i've been sick so um so yeah we're expanding this show out because I, I like the name right and as i finish my tea here It's Christmas time, y'all. Now, I'm excited. Uh, I'm very, very excited for Christmas. Um, Christmas is one of those things that I genuinely enjoy. Um, I did shop for my uh, uh, one of my siblings. We're doing all five of us. We're doing Secret Santa. Not going to name that sibling because uh, this is a live radio show, and I, don't, I want my that sibling knowing who I got. But I shopped for one of my siblings for Secret Santa. Um, I bought my mom something very special. Um, shout out to my mom uh, because she's 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 helped me out. Uh, she helped me out throughout the year um, with our plane ticket for New York for the first documentary. Um, she is kind of my proofreader when it comes to grad school. If you guys don't know, yes, I am in grad school. I am in course three. And sometimes I go to my mom to have her to say, hey, can you proofread this this paper for me? Because sometimes I'm writing a certain article or a certain uh, assignment and my writing may not be there, right? My mom, believe it or not, my mom, we're in the same, we go, we go to the same school. We're not in the same program because she's getting her PhD, I'm getting my master's, but we go to the same school and she knows what these professors are looking for so it's just it just kind of worked out like hey mom can you read this paper for me right um she actually and i've been thinking about master's degree for a long time but she told me about the school that we go to now and she said hey do this because it's online you you run a telecommunications company a media label and you do work with an institution which we're not going to name on the show you do a lot so i have to do an online course uh one of my coworkers, she's physically going to class and i told her like wow you're you actually going to a class like all my stuff is online i don't i don't think i could ever do and i probably could if i devoted some time to it but ever since i graduated from my undergrad and me going to work and going to school i remember not trying to get off topic but i mean we're all over the place with this podcast but i remember when I was an undergrad at GGC. Shout out to GGC for sure. I had to go to class. So this was back when I did Marriott work. I would go work for Marriott International Hotel Industry from six in the morning to about three. I would come home, take a nap, and then I would jet to GGC because I had a six to nine class. And those naps used to be so pivotal. And Monica, I remember you remember because that's when we kind of first met where you would come over and i'm in the bed taking a nap because i just had a long day at marriott international hotel industry and i had to get up put some clothes on throw my bag in the car with my computer and my notebook and i had to jet on off to class and do i miss those those days no do i miss being in class sometimes yes right because i remember it was 2020 my senior year of college and it was COVID right so we had to learn i had everything online right so i couldn't go to class so those are the things i kind of miss about college actually going to class and talking to college mates because we all share the vision of what we're trying to do now as i say to my students at my institution to which we're not going to name the institution um we have to kind of be careful about that now um i would tell students like hey you know i remember when i was in college senior year everything was online and now you know my students or the students that we we educate and we facilitate you know they're getting ready they're going home some students already don't left but a lot of students are getting ready to go home by the time you're getting the podcast students are gone you know going to class and talking to a classmate it, it's a little bit different um but what, what was i going to oh 
So uh, to my mom, to my point, shout out to her. She's been helping me out a whole hell of a lot this year. So of course, I'm not just getting her a Christmas gift because of that, but she's been helping me out a lot this year. So, I, you know, I'm very grateful for her, for her help. Um, shout out to my squad, you know, shout out in Muncie. If you're watching or listening to the podcast, shout out to you. Um, it's your birthday. This, this, your, your whole week. This is your birthday. Yes. On Saturday, we're going out to dinner. I cannot wait to celebrate a birthday with my, my crew. Uh, my whole squad is going to be there. It's Jess, Muncie, Phil, David, Connor, uh, Porsche, uh, Nama. Um, did I say Jess? I said Jess. Keyshawn. Keyshawn, shout out to you, man. Keyshawn graduated from Valdosta State University this week. I am so sorry I couldn't be there. Um, this was this past weekend. I had to be on set and I was filming and then I got sick. So maybe it was a it was a great thing that i didn't because i wasn't i wasn't gonna be there being me me being sick um but Keyshawn did graduate from valdez the state where he's coming home i think he's gonna be at the dinner this weekend so i can't wait to see him so shout out to my whole squad for sure but Keyshawn, shout out to, to you man for graduating college because that is a huge thing um a huge accomplishment um Shout out to Karen, because my friend Karen, she graduated. She got a master's in, in, in the nursing program, too. So a lot of people graduating. A lot of people were doing some dope stuff, me and my, my squad. So I can't wait to see everybody. So I did shop everybody um, for my squad. We do this thing almost every year. We didn't do it in 2020, obviously, because of COVID. And 2021 was a little bit sticky. Um, but this is a year that, you know, with my squad, these are select few, few of us that do what we do is we we don't sh we shop for everybody but there's a budget from about five to fifteen dollars and then you go and buy them each person you buy like a fifteen dollar christmas item and everybody walks away with six christmas presents um so it's always a good time it's always a good time for christmas uh it's always a good time to spend some money right uh i know somebody was telling me the other day um she <laughs> She was telling me about, you know, Christmas is very pivotal for her because, you know, she works and she's buying Christmas gifts for her friends, her boyfriend, her parents, her, her siblings, you know, and it's a good time. It's really a good time when you go Christmas shopping because you, you get excited every year. I get excited. Of course, I did splurge Christmas stuff on myself, too. Um, of course, obviously, I've had to make sure I Christmas shop for myself. We bought some great things for the for the house. Uh, and my tea is gone. Um, but yeah, Christmas time is very, very nice. Um, very, very excited for that. I'm very excited for Christmas to come along. Um, comment below, guys. What are your Christmas shopping to do's? Like, what is your Christmas traditions? Now, every year, I like to decorate my house for Christmas. Now this is the year where i didn't and i can tell you guys why because i'm not a grinch i'm not a scrooge um but damn it my power bill was 45 dollars last month so i look at all these houses that are near me that they have a big christmas tree in their in their their foyer and that's just because when i drive by the house i can see it it's not like i'm snooping in people's houses but around people's houses they have christmas lights dangled all over the place let me tell y'all because this is this is not so personal i don't gotta tell you where i live it pertains but my power bill was 45 dollars last month that is really good for anybody who knows about paying bills right and i always say to my my people if you pay your own bills I can truly sit there and call you a truly adult. I mean, we get all these these students in here and they get so stressed and they think they're adults. I'm like, no, wait until you start paying bills. Then you are classified as a full adult. If you ain't paying no bills, you ain't no adult. That's just my take on that one. But that's a different podcast for another day. But Christmas lights everywhere. And you can only imagine how much your power bill will be. That is why I didn't decorate my Christmas tree. Now, do I have a tree? Yes, I do. Um, 
I, in my house, we didn't do any Christmas decorations, right? Because I looked at our power bill. I like paying very cheap for power right now, right? This is kind of a pivotal time where you need to start using energy for good, right? Because when it's winter time, you have to run your heater. And when you run your heater, your power bill goes down, right? Because with the heater, it doesn't take that much power. Summertime is scarce, right? I remember it was, it had to been July, June or July, where that monthly bill in July, I'm going to say it was July, my power bill was $103 because I'm running my AC. Um, let's see, I have an office in my house. I have a media room in my house. My PlayStation 5 runs up a, a good bit of power. Um, the summertime where we would be in the office for four days instead of five days, right? So we're in the office for four days and we're technically off, quote unquote, for three days, even though we're still working. Three days, you know, I'm in the house four days, um, excuse me, I'm in the house three days in the summertime versus two, right? So that's why my power bill this summer was more expensive. That July, oh, I remember like it was yesterday too. I looked at it, I'm like, damn, $103? Did I leave something on? Like, what the hell? Like, it jumped like significantly. But in November, my power bill was $45. And I said, yes, it's because number one, I don't have Christmas lights on burning energy and I'm on set or I'm in the office, right? We're working. So I'm barely at home, right? So it's, it's an interesting dynamic. It really is very, very interesting dynamic. And I say to a lot of people, yeah, take advantage of the winter time. The winter time sucks, right? Because as I said in the intro of today, today's show, I'm coming from a cold. A, a light fever if you will and i couldn't even like talk three days ago because it's the weather it's been cold it's been hot i've been sick i've been congested because of this weather but a lot of people got to take advantage of that i think it's very pivotal for a lot of people and you know this is something that me and my friends we were talking about it and we were saying you know it, it's good that you know for our friend group <clears throat> most of us doesn't don't have major responsibilities and like i say in many many podcasts uh, it's not a knock on people who have big responsibilities you guys know where i'm going with this kids right it's very very pivotal for with, with, with folks with kids right now because we are still in the recession we we are still in the pandemic right a lot of people don't have that much money i saw this thing on tiktok and i shared it with you monica today that these two parents they made a tiktok and these kids gave them a book list of, of, of Christmas list. And that's a different dynamic. Like, I want to know, and I'm probably going to YouTube this um, when I get home. I want to know how many parents can afford Christmas this year. Right? That's a, it makes you want to think, right? It makes you think how many parents won't be able to, to really afford Christmas this year because believe it or not there are some parents out there that can't afford it right where their mortgage has gotten up because of COVID let's say the parents got laid off from their jobs because of COVID they're just now starting to get back right inflation is still up groceries are still high gas and, and that's another thing gas was high and the gas is high but gas is like 269 right now We're, and that's high but that's not as high that i've seen i've seen higher so we kind of got a little release from, from gas which is kind of great i mean that's still high but that's better than 340 something that we've seen previously so i i have to let that one slide t but you really get to think about it like shit parents are coming from recession parents got laid off and they had to pivot the last two years so when these kids give parents their christmas wish list it's like honey i don't know if we're gonna be able to afford this this year right it's a different dynamic especially it's a different dynamic when it comes to parents with kids kids don't know especially young kids they don't understand this recession this thing called life this thing called parents got laid off what the hell are they gonna do 
kids don't understand that and parents don't tell their kids that and i'm just assuming right on this pod i'm just assuming i'm not a parent i don't have kids god i ain't got kids because i couldn't have done this but i'm just look i'm the the outside guy trying to look in parents are not going to tell their kids hey billy joe we can't afford that new playstation 5 you want this year it's 500 600 bucks we ain't got it. by some miracle maybe but we ain't got it oh sari lee you want that new iphone sorry honey i can't afford it this year do you want to eat or do you want this new iphone do you want some some heat let me rephrase that because i sound bad do you want ac or do you want that new iphone you gotta pick one right so it's interesting it's very interesting dynamic um my mom she did ask me hey she called me the other day hey what do you want for christmas i said i don't know right because i i feel like i got everything now i did text her because there was this one thing i i say hey i could use that for my office but we everybody my whole siblings like we, we got everything right we made it to where we made some money where hey if i really wanted something damn it, i'm going to go get it right and that's just it's not me bragging on the pod it's just saying that i'm very blessed enough to to work hard and say hey if i truly wanted something okay just order it right um so i don't know that that makes you appreciate things a lot more it makes you appreciate your dynamic because there there are and i'm not saying that there's 100 percent of people that are struggling right now but there's a great bit of people that are struggling right now right and it's just one of those dynamics we've got to be grateful and we have to always remember that christmas is not always about the presents and what you buy christmas is about loving one another one loving one another because two years this time people 2020 christmas 2020 people lost people right we've lost so many people because of this damn virus and they didn't get to see christmas right um the hit rapper takeoff passed away weeks before christmas so now offset and quavo they won't be able to celebrate with their brother this year right i remember last year for christmas we didn't even get to celebrate with our grandma and she died right so it's just one of those things that we have to be appreciative with number one the people that are here with us still whether it's your family friends families uh spouses wives whoever we have to be we have to be grateful and kids have to understand when they're and, 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 and i was like this too at one point where i was we were the kids and there's been times and hopefully my parents don't yell at us brothers but sometimes there's been years where my mom or dad would say hey lucas we can't afford that this year and they've been brutally honest with me and as a kid i used to be upset because as a kid i didn't know but now I'm on the outside looking in and as me growing up, I think I said this on the last pod or, or some sort of video, uh, I value the dollar. I say it as much as I can, right? Every time I get some extra money, I'm scared to spend it because of the trauma. We've been through some trauma and that's another podcast, but we've been through some stuff too. But me being an adult, I want to save every dollar I can. I know who I was talking about. I was talking to my sister. My sister had bought something. And I, I said to her, that's a weird, that's such a weird dynamic that she gets nervous every, and sorry, Deamber, hopefully it's okay for me talking about this on the pod, but she told me that she even gets nervous to spend even $10. <laughs> not as a nervous that like, not nervous as the, oh, she can't afford it because my sister's very successful but it's her mind her mind is saying if i spend a hundred dollars on something that freaks her out and i said to deamber i said deamber you know what's funny that freaks me out too if i know okay if this new um because we use cameras she went for a camera camera right i just bought a camera from my friend my photography camera definitely taking that new york spent 150 dollars on it i got nervous for that for some strange reason 
and I told my sister that told my sister Deamber that or Monica we just bought uh, the um, sound bar Walmart from own oh, they had a good deal on that sound bar too I love it but we went to Walmart bought a sound bar for our li- for the living room and I got I, I bought it because it was a great deal but then my mind I'm like damn I'm scared to spend this money but then the other side of my mind I'm saying like, damn kid, you good you got it you're not poor like your 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 bills are still paid you're good you can afford it treat yourself to something nice this christmas right and you and we often wonder that too my brother everybody does that my both my brothers would tell me damn i wanted this thing i bought it because it was a deal but now i'm scared that i spent that money shout out to my brother my brother does that to me a lot and this is the thing and this is i ain't trying to ramble but this is a good story it's a good story guys um my little brother ryan would tell me or i would call him and i do this and I, i used to do this i don't do this as much but i would tell him that i'm thinking about purchasing something because in my mind i want to get some clarity some some justification from him saying it's okay i got it it's so weird but we do that whether it's a new tv or a new video game or new equipment i would call my brother and say yeah i'm thinking about buying this thing um I, I really do deserve it i do have it in the bank i i'm not gonna be tapped if i if i bought this one thing what you think my brother ron would say lucas you know you he was like lucas you know you good with money you know you can make this back in two days. Go ahead and get it. Stop playing with me. That's what Ryan would do. It is so weird. And I and like I say, and referring back to my sister too, we get nervous of spending even a, even a hundred dollars on something because we like okay, damn, like we got we we have this in our mind. We oh, we gotta save it because somebody's going to come take it from me because of trauma. We've been through some, some some shit, which that's another podcast. We'll get into that later on in our lives. That's a whole nother different story. But it's the trauma that we're holding on to. Where we have to save every dime because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if somebody's coming to come take our, our shit away. Money wise. So the moral of the story is we have to be thankful for what we have. I'm thankful every day for my house, my health, my car. Even though I've been through some shit with my car, I'm so freaking thankful for my vehicle. I'm so thankful for my house. And that's the that's the PSA for this podcast to a lot of people, students who are going home. Be very, very, very thankful for what you got. Don't ponder on what you don't got. Don't ponder, oh, my friend got this car. Students, some y'all type of students, y'all know who I'm talking about. I see students with these Mercedes and these Porsches. They're freshmen in college. First of all, I don't think you need to be having that kind of vehicle if you're just a freshman in college. But hey, it's not my money. Be thankful for that stuff. Right? Right? Young kids today, freshman college kids, they ain't, if their parents pay for it, nah, they ain't thankful. Because if they get into a wreck, oh, my dad will take care of it. You're not thankful for it. You're not grateful. You you don't really appreciate it. Because you think, oh, my, my parents can just pay for, the, pay for the repairs. I'm good. Right? That's why every day I'm thankful. My car, my health, my house my warm bed playstation 5 i'm very thankful for that i'm thankful that i'm able to buy groceries and eat my house is heated now because it's winter time i come on to a nice heated house where it's nice and warm it's not cold you know we we have to be thankful for these kind of stuff and it's not we're, we're not thankful every day um i i'm very grateful but we're not um but that's a, enough of the, the babble. That's my PSA to a lot of people out there. Yes, I am back. 
yes i've been sick um if you and i uh, thank god i haven't coughed i did snuffle my nose a little bit but we find this little congestion um feeling good feeling better today than i did the last couple days so i gotta thank everybody that's here in the studio i know i've been kind of rambling we've been playing some music we've been drinking some hot tea we've been doing some really good stuff this on this today's pod so i really appreciate it uh, of course monica i'm always appreciated t james uh, addison Ar- addison and arthur and beatrice they killing the game for news breaking thank y'all so much because y'all y'all doing some good stuff when it comes to these news um thankful for everybody that's here in the studio swinky studios that is um we're gonna be doing a lot of podcasting this week uh because i missed y'all i missed the studio uh i appreciate everybody out there that's our fan base is listening to our radio show uh thank you thank you for being patient with me um i know klp aftermath is still doing its thing we just the last couple days i've truly been sick and typically <clears throat> excuse me typically if i'm congested and if i'm calling coughing i really ain't feeling well i don't like to be in front of camera hence why today's show i mean i'm better today but i'm not at 100 percent. so that's why we just don't have the cameras rolling because i don't like to not look good on camera um but we're going to be coming back on camera very soon but Hopefully y'all enjoyed today's podcast. It has been fun. Comment below. What are you thankful for for Christmas? Um, what are the things that you're achieving for Christmas? Whether it's an item that you're wanting to buy or a project you're wanting to finish. Uh, comment below because we want to hear from you guys here at KLP Entertainment. So that's going to wrap it up here on our show here today. Uh, as always, I'd like to say stay safe, stay swanky. Peace.